If you're out there and you're trying to invest in New York City real estate, you're probably running into an issue, right? This is a major pain point, pain point for a lot of investors, but specifically investors in New York. The pricing, right? It's so hard to acquire enough money to get started. You might be thinking, I got what it takes to be a landlord. I got what it takes to be a rental property investor. I know I can do this if I can just get enough money. Well, guess what, folks? I am here to eliminate that pain point for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise, and I help investors, everyday people like you, invest in real estate every day. Today, I'm working on my girl, Kim. She is an investor in New York, and her pain point is acquiring enough money to invest in the New York real estate market. The housing market in this nation in 2022 is, whoo, it's way high, okay? But it is way higher, in places like New York where Kim is from. So what does she do? Instead of trying to fit a round peg in a square hole, Kim came to me. She wanted a partner with me and my team to put her money in markets where it can go 10 times further, right? What I'm doing for you today, Tim, is I'm going to get you a triplex that's only going to require about $31,000 out of your pocket. Imagine trying to do that in New York City. Thirty-one grand in New York City is like pennies. Can you even get a parking space, right? Probably not, so let's jump into exactly how this deal is going to be done, where the property is located in, what that market looks like, and how Kim is going to handle that property management from her home in New York City. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Now we're going to get into how that sausage is made, man. Woo! I love me some real estate. I love me some cash flow real estate. And this is cash flow real estate in a beautiful way, baby. I'm talking. I am talking about generating $25,000 a year out of this thing. Twenty-five grand. It might not look like much, right? This thing is not beautiful. It is not sexy, right? This thing is not freaking, I don't know, Carmen Electra, right? This is like B. Arthur, okay? But that's all right because this is what cash flow real estate looks like. It's super, uh, you know, average, right? It's not glamorous, but this, this thing is a cash cow, and it does not matter where you live because my team handles the dirty work it handles the on the ground stuff it deals with the tenants it deals with the toilets it deals with the trouble and it allows you to get your real estate business started on a very small budget we're talking 31 thousand bucks or so out of your pocket right what it is it is a triplex right triplex triplexes are my second favorite type of property of all time of all time my first favorite property is a quad four unit right it goes fourplex then triplex then duplex those are my top three right you might be like okay i get why he likes a four unit more than a three unit and i get why he likes a three unit more than a two unit but why doesn't he like a five unit more than a four unit because once you get to five folks the game changes okay when we're just getting started in real estate which is a lot of people that work with holton wise tv why because a lot of people trying to get started with holton wise uh working with holton wise tv 
are doing so because they are priced out of their home markets, right? And if you're priced out of your home markets, what does that mean? It means you have a problem acquiring a large sum of cash flow. So you go to other markets, markets like this one, Northeast Ohio, where you can pick up properties for a lower amount of cash. So that means if you're cash short, what do we want to do, folks? We want to leverage. We want to leverage our funds. The best way to leverage your funds is with residential financing. 30 years, right? Three, zero. It's hard to do a zero while I hold this fucking pen. Three, zero, folks. 30-year loans, fixed interest loans, low interest loans. Where are we? We're in 2022. What is happening right now? The interest rates are at historic lows. They're going to go up. Money is cheap. We need to acquire as much of that money as possible. That 30-year cheap money, though, can only be used on one, two, three, and four unit properties. Once you get to five, you no longer get it, right? So what does the savvy investor do, right? They try to utilize as much of that money as possible with as many units as possible, right? So triplexes and quads have the most. The only negative to that money is you're capped at 10. So my recommendation is to use one of those mortgages on your home, take care of home base first, then use nine of those mortgages on your investment properties. But if you want to get crazy, live, to, live in a van down by the river and use your 10 mortgages on 10 quads and get 40 rental income checks, I ain't going to stop you, but I'm just saying that's not the path I recommend. Now, with all that said, this property, 338 10th Street, Elyria, 44035, just hit the market, five days on the market. They got this sucker priced at 119900 I do not want you to bid 119900 I want you to go over. 125 grand because this some bitch is going to have a bidding war. Why? Because it makes money. Who doesn't like money? Everybody likes money, right? I think we could probably take it down at 125. That's what I do, right? I try to get you money off the list price when that's appropriate, and I think it could happen. Other times, my job is to make sure you understand the market in the way that I do. And when there's going to be a brutal bidding war, I'm talking William Wallace. I don't even know who he fought. Was it the British or he was English? No, he was Scottish. He was he was definitely Scottish, and he fought the whoever the hell Mel Gibson was fucking up. That's who I, you know, if, the, if, if, if we're in a war like that, I got I to gotta let you know. I got to prepare you for war, and that's what's going to happen here, okay? I can't come up here and be like, yo, I can get you this for 100 No, that'd be insane. There's going to be a lot of people bidding on this because the numbers are insane. We will go over them shortly. So to put you in the best position to win, you got to go above list price, 125 k all right? Market rents, folks, 25800 a year, right? 750 750 650 Now, we are not currently getting that. The rents are a little lower. They're 650, 600, and 450, but we will slowly increase those rents throughout the course of ownership, right? I showed you the pictures. You don't want to kick any of them tenants out because, of course, you got to redo the unit when they get all their stuff out. That would be money going away from you. Don't worry about that, right? We'll take a little less cash flow immediately, but we're going to make you more over the long haul by reducing your vacancy, right? turnovers kill your returns folks you're in this game to avoid turnovers keep cash coming in don't send cash out when you don't have to okay but when we are at market rent what's this sucker going to look like long term well it's going to look like approximately thirteen thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars a month in or a year in pure profit right i have all of your fixed and variable expense estimates lined up for you that's why you work with holton wise i don't just come on here and say yo 25k in rent you're gonna make 25k no there are costs associated with owning rental properties especially when you're paying another company a la my company to manage them for you right that's why you can do this from anywhere that's why you can do this from california that's why you can do this from new york that's why you can do this from switzerland folks we help people as far away as switzerland get in on these cheap properties right because this is one of the best cash flow markets in the usa Thirteen thousand nine hundred twenty-five. all you need to do put up your 31 250 i'll get you that sweet 30 year financing for the other 93 and that would net out to be a 30 percent cash on cash return uh estimate right and this neighborhood i love this neighborhood illyria it's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland, Ohio. I know a lot of people on a national scale think Cleveland uh, when they come here. We work all of Northeast Ohio, folks. The Cleveland major metropolitan area is not just the city of Cleveland. Cleveland's got like 350 or 60 or between 340 and like 370,000 people, somewhere in there. I don't remember what it is exactly off the top of my head, okay? 
The metro area is like around three to four million. Okay, so Cleveland is just a teeny little drop in the overall bucket of what we're doing in this region. And guess what? A lot of people, a lot of national people, focus on the city of Cleveland. So properties like this that don't have a Cleveland address, they often get overlooked. And we could pick them up for lower prices, right? So I told you it's going to be a brutal bidding war, right? Some William Wallace type, type stuff here. And we're going to try to pick it up at 125 If this had a Cleveland address, we'd probably have to pay like 140 right? So I think we're actually getting uh, better pricing in Elyria. And in a lot of the C-grade neighborhoods in Cleveland, like a lot of them on the west side that we're very heavily invested in over here, uh, I would say you get equal or sometimes even a better tenant base and housing stock in Elyria. Plus, in my opinion... Uh, the local government, much easier to deal with. So I am very high on this investment. I think you should be high too, which is why I recommend a $125,000 bid. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.